What up everyone, Clayton here, and today we're back with another Skyrim skill guide. Today we're going to be one of the archery, also called the Marksman. If you want to level this skill through console commands, this is actually technically called Marksman. So that's your pro tip of the day. So in this video, I'm going to give an overview of the skill, perks that you'll need if you want to use this skill, and how to level the skill pretty quickly. So first for the overview, it's pretty simple. You take your bow, you grab some arrows, and then you shoot the arrows with the bow. You do damage. Uh, it's pretty good, especially at range, but it's not really good in melee range because other things can hit you really hard. You do have a bash if you hit the right trigger or you hit the right mouse button, which kind of knocks people off kilter. So that's pretty good against melee people who are up in your grill. This way you can stagger them and try to get away and be more ranged. For the perks, if you want to use this as your main source of damage, I recommend getting every single perk you can. That's just kind of how most damage perks work or damage skills work. So for overdraw is what makes it so your bows do more damage per rank up to 100% or twice as much damage. You also have eagle eye and steady hand which kind of go in hand in hand. Eagle eye allows you to press block while aiming and you'll zoom in. And then steady hand will allow it to slow time when you aim in which is pretty good. Power shot and quick shot are both important. One staggers and the other one makes it so your bow is knocked 30% faster. So I really recommend those, especially the stagger. It's really good against melee people who are trying to get up in your face and slice you up. On the right side of the tree, there are some perks you might want to skip, but you really want to get the perks beyond those, so it's kind of a give and take if you really want to put all those points in there. For one, critical shot has three points you can put into it. You're probably okay just using one or two, but if you want the most damage out of archery, make sure to put three. Also, for Hunter's Discipline, this makes it so you recover twice as many arrows from dead bodies. Not really important, but the perk above that, Ranger, is really good. This perk allows you to move faster when your bow is drawn, which is really good. Like I said, you're not good in melee range, so you want to be able to have some mobility on the field so you can get some more shots down range. And for your Archery Level 100 perk, Bullseye, it's amazing, pick it up, it has a chance of paralyzing, a small chance, but when it actually goes off, it's really, really good. So for leveling, it's kind of different. You pretty much just want to use this skill while you're leveling, and it will level up pretty quickly. There's some ways to kind of get it from, you know, 90 to 100, which is sometimes a big step. But pretty much how you do it is you can go to trainers. There is actually two trainers that I would recommend going to because they are actually follower trainers. So we have Findel, which you can find in Riverwood, and if you do his simple quest for him and make sure it's for him, so he becomes your follower. And also Aleia from the Companions, if you get her as a follower. You can train with them, and then when you go into the inventory to trade things, you can take that gold back. So you don't really cost anything for leveling. And uh, they're not master level trainers, so you have to worry about that. But I recommend doing that and just trying to get through the game, use archery, use the trainers when you level up, use five times, and then you probably should be pretty good. If you don't have enough, you can always just go find enemies with a lot of HP, sit up on a rock. I recommend going to the uh, Plains of Whiterun. There's tons of mammoths and giants there. You can shoot them and get your archery leveled pretty quickly because they have a lot of health. And it pretty much is all about doing damage. The more arrows you shoot, the more levels you get. Also, there's a place called Agnes Camp, which I made a video about and I'll link here. In this place, you can get six points of archery. So I would recommend... You know, getting to level 94, coming to this place and just getting the six points of free archery training from her. Pretty much what you have to do is just listen to what she says, hit the targets she tells you to hit, and you can get six points of free archery as long as you're pretty good. It's pretty easy. I made a video about it showing how to do it, so check that out if you're having problems with it. But it's super simple, super easy, and uh, that's probably the best way to do it. If you're a little bit far from level 100, like 93, 94, you can get those six points of free training and you're pretty much set. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hope you found it helpful. If it was, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe for more. And this is Clay, signing out.